What's up everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use the motion tracking tool in BSTC video editor. So first open a blank project and here you can see here is a blank project here. So then import your footage. So I'm going to import my footage. Here is footage that I'm going to import. Then select the position then. Uh, here is my footage it is it is full HD footage then set the same size as the parent has now uh, my footage is uh, something like that so what I'm gonna do right now to use the motion tracking tool first I'm gonna select the footage then click to the right hand side button of the mouse then create movement map then give a name like then the, now the tool has been came uh, here is a tool you can see here is a rectangle at the middle of the rectangle there is a dot and you can customize it so the dot is the dot means the main pixel of your motion tracking and the rectangle means the area that your video will be motioned or moved so in in the next frame so in the next frame my view my video will not move more than this rectangle edge so it's well now uh, click to start analysis to see that your motion tracking is working well or not and you can see my motion tracking has been successfully worked for my video so then click to apply editing so then yes to save the motion tracking file now add a text or an object I'm gonna add a text here that uh, go ahead go ahead then customize a little bit okay now what to do for using the motion tracking tool of this text so first double click to the text and then click to add object then movement then movement map so select the move select the motion tracking movement so i'm going to select this one then click to ok now your motion tracking will work so let's see how it works look at that go ahead works so smoothly And yes no doubt that it has been worked properly so that's how you can make the motion tracking tool and let me show you what you can how you can use more of this motion tracking tool so I can add an object like rectangle here and then ellipse then double click on it dead object and use the movement map or this one also and thus you can use any object uh, you can create you can use the motion tracking tool in any object of BSDC so so many of you will ask that how I can use the face blurring effect using the motion tracking so for this you, you need to know how to blur any part of a video so I'm gonna teach you this in this video so that's a bonus part of this video so first you need to select the footage and then here is strong blur at the quick starts so it has been blurred but not seems quite good so video then strong blur and stack blur then blur levels to 10 okay so it has been completely blurred then click to copy uh, copy 
I'm sorry. I'm gonna paste this, uh, paste this one, and then double click on the new footage and then delete the stack blur. blur. So this footage is upper than the blur footage, so I can see everything is clear. So first, I'm gonna double click on it and then select the face of the, your uh, person here that you have motion tracked so first i'm gonna click to the ellipse or a circle so i'm gonna add a circle and in his head and then paint it black okay and then click to blend to mask now you can see his face has been blurred but uh after going a little while his face his face become uh like uh, before so I need to use the motion tracking here so I'm gonna click double click to elapse uh, or circle then add object then movement then movement map and then select that one so now let's see how it works look at that you can see his face he has been blurred for the time all the time and that's how motion tracking works that's why you can use the motion tracking for your real life experience and yes you can use a lot of things using this motion tracking and bsgc's official channel has also have been uh, published a video where they have, they have shown that five ways to create use the motion tracking you can simply go to the description and watch the video um, before that don't forget to like if you have understood all the topics of this video and if not don't forget to comment in the comment box and share to your friends and others that they would learn this uh, this thing and subscribe for more videos for more awesome tutorials stay tuned with my channel thank you very much